I have always loved reading. And ever since I was a little kid, 9, 10, 11 years old, and those books were invariably thrillers. Robert Ludlum, Frederick Forsyth, and James Clavell, I would disappear into those books for days and not come up for air. There's a few things you have to have to make a great page turner. A likable hero who has to face insurmountable odds and overcome them. Betrayal, the question of who can you trust? Exotic locales, international settings, to really keep you on the edge of your seat. The first book I wrote was called Number to Count. Came out in 1998 and spent three months on the New York Times bestseller list. I started realizing that I didn't want to just write you know, financial thrillers. There's a whole big, dark, evil world out there that I wanted to write about, that I wanted to explore with my novels. Uh, I started working on a television pilot called The Diplomat. And we had a pretty famous consultant. His name was General Tommy Franks. General Franks discussed some of the work his most well-trained soldiers uh, performed. He called these guys operators. They were special operations troops, special forces, who were inserted behind enemy lines, who performed tasks that were what you'd call the blackest of black ops. If any of these individuals were caught, they would never be admitted to by the United States government. There is no more immediate, fascinating story going on in the world today than what these special operators are doing. And I thought, my God, what would happen if you were married to one of these individuals? They're not just men, there's plenty of women doing this too. And you didn't know it. When I set out to write Rules of Deception, I wanted to write the thriller I always loved reading as a child. The book that once I started, I could not put down for the life of me.